Lord of Flames here, and today we're on to another reaction video, which Captain Minder V69 commented me about for a request to watch his two videos that he made, which happened in October, and so I'm going to react to these two, which is called How to Create the Aurora Woods Incident. I don't know if I heard that name or something, like, is that his own thing that he made, or it's based on something? I had to look it up after I'm done with this. But, anyways, let's just get on with the video. And this one is 35, 35 seconds. Okay. Step one, go for a nice walk in the woods. Step two, get yourself hopelessly lost. Step three, like a wood, hunger. It's unbearable. Step four, you like to go back to the created and fire in the screen. What the heck? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Subtitles? Step three, like a wood. What? What? What just... What? Okay, that just... That was... Whoa. What, but what does that even mean? Like, I know it's... Reminds me of those times where... Mostly you had survived like that. Like in Minecraft, but... But in real life... Cold and hunger where you... Mostly had to hunt down every animals for you to survive to get meat. But that was a little bit dark right there. But what is that thing? It has like a troll face, but what is the meaning to it? Alright, let's get into the another one, which is seven minutes long. Hello, my name is... I'm recording my trip into these woods to cherish the memories, because once I get married, I won't be able to go out whenever I want. See, about this little cabin out here. It's very small, but it's nice and cozy. That same She's cabin. got a mini fridge, a wood stove, and a nice warm bed, a toilet, and bath. She's got the stuff so I can live, I guess. I'm hoping to bag a buck or two. I might have my buddy Lawrence come out here with his truck to help me carry off my game, because my truck is still in the shop, getting its engine repaired. So, um, so I'm borrowing my fiancé's Jeep. Anyway, I'm going to scout out the area and see if I can use any pits or logs to set up my hiding spot. Huh. So, I'll probably head out tomorrow. Yesterday I spent my time setting up the cabin and getting my gear ready, and it really took the wind out of me. I was out there trying to hook up the generator, and I couldn't help but feel something was... off. I don't know. The last time I was out here in these woods, I was with my dad and uncle on another hunting trip, and even they felt that there was something off, but that was years ago. Hmm. Well... It's around lunchtime, so I'm gonna cook me up some beans and get ready to head out on my hunt. Okay. Okay, a few hours later. Uh, I'm, oh, I'm having a hard time falling asleep. That feeling of unease is back, but I'm also hearing something really weird outside my ha cabin. Here, uh, take a listen. I hate that song. I don't know. A troll song. Oh my god. What that is, but I never heard anything like it before. I get screwed. Well, today's the day. It's around 68 degrees. Wind is blowing about five miles per hour, and the sun has yet to rise. I got my rifle, my mask, and my thermal scope ready. I'll be walking north, going deeper into the woods. Like I said earlier, I'm hoping to bag two males. I've already called Lawrence to see if he'll come by and said he would. A few 
hours later. Well, I managed to spot a deer near a fallen tree, so I went to duck down, and just my luck, I stepped on a branch. Uh, I don't know if I'll ever get me a deer if I continue to be this clumsy. Moving to a different position, I found a dugout near a couple of thick bushes. I hopped in and set my rifle up. Two doe came charting out from the nearby thicket, but my rule about deer hunting is to leave the females and children alone. We need those for repopulation. Well, while I was watching them, I noticed that they were standing extremely still. Not like they usually do, but like... really, really still. And they were looking westward. A few seconds later, they ran off. I could have sworn I heard something heading towards us when the doe ran, but I, I don't know. i never seen deer get spooked like that. I know they couldn't have seen me since I was hidden in the bushes, so I don't know what's going on or what made them spook like that. Oh boy. 4 p.m. One hour later. I don't... I, I don't know if you guys can hear this, but that strange noise from the other night is back. Here, take a listen. Yeah, I have, I have no idea what the hell that is or what's making it. I'm honestly creeped out, so I'm gonna get out of here. I'm trying to distance myself from it. Uh oh. I'm currently running back to my cabin. Whatever is, whatever's back there obviously spotted me, and now it's running after me. The second I left the spot, this thing charged right behind me. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, oh god. Oh god. Wait, what? Uh, uh, I just, oh, I just woke up. Apparently I've been out for a day or so, according to my watch. I guess uh, when I was running, I tripped and smacked my head on the ground. Uh, I'm pretty bruised and on my head and arm, but my my leg, though, I think I pulled a muscle or twisted my ankle because it hurts like hell. Whatever it was must have left since I'm still alive. At least I think. I can't find my bag, but I, I managed to find my rifle. I'm going to try and get back to the cabin and call for help. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, 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 I'll uh, use my rifle as a crutch. Uh, be careful, man. I think the, I don't know how far you are into the forest. I think I'm lost. Yep. Maybe when I woke up, I got turned around because because I've been walking around now and haven't been able to find the cabin. Hopefully, I'm just turned around and not lost. Because if I am, this could be bad news. Well, bad news for my leg. It's gonna be more sore and discolored. I'm gonna. I'm gonna turn around and walk back south and see if I can't find the cabin. Wait, what? This is bullshit. I don't know what the hell is going on, but I've passed this same f***ing tree at least three times. What? I can't be going in circles because I've been walking straight. Oh, no. What? No. Okay. No. 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 He's dead, all right. How could you run so easily if your leg is still in pain, man? So this is different of a siren head. I don't know. Slenderman, siren head, I don't know different from this thing. Just show us. Oh dear. Knowing troll stuff is not a good thing for. Her. Let's 
getting a little bit darker. Better be careful with Joe's face, why not? Well, folks, that's very interesting video right there. A cat miner. That is really good videos. Really good one. I got that your own thing. You made your own, made your own character, or you based it on something. Probably by Trevor Henderson. I don't know. Maybe you inspire his work. Who knows? Well, folks, that will be your reaction for today, and I hope you enjoyed this. If you want more reaction videos next week, or next, if you want more react, if you want more reaction videos next weekend, please comment down below, and I'll pick one of them. This is Lord of Flames here. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, folks. Have a wonderful day.